It's Sunday the 12th of March 2017. This is a chart update for the US dollar index. In a previous video I talked about how the US dollar index is something I follow pretty closely um, just because it's important mainly for commodities, anything priced in US dollars and broadly almost any asset class is now the US dollar index is an extremely important indicator to follow. Um, and I, I, I talked about how I thought this had reached really a head and shoulders type top. And this week, again, it, it was really trying to break through this sort of uh, 102 level. You can see here, it marginally broke through that at the end of last week, but then has fallen back below 102. And on Friday, had quite a quite a large down day uh, and, and qu almost invalidating this little uptrend here, I think. I mean, it's you could argue it's sort of still holding that just... Uh, but if it breaks through there, I think that's definitely uh, a head and shoulders top shoulder forming. Uh, so you'd expect that to head. I'm expecting that to head lower. Uh, obviously, it's not for a head and shoulders pattern to be really bearish. It really needs to break through a neckline. So I guess I've got a couple of lines drawn here. But that neckline, I guess, is that in this 99 sort of range. So if it was to fall back there and not to hold that 99, you'd expect that to that that pattern to play out and then you're looking at a quite a uh, quite a large move down towards sort of this mid 90s range uh, so that's that's kind of what I've been looking at for quite some time obviously for the gold market it's very important the the US dollar because in general they'll in the short term anyway they'll move inversely and uh, I, I expect that to be supportive for the gold um, the gold shares and the gold price if, if the US dollar is weak so that's just a short update on on the US dollar index. I, I think it's probably a more more important chart than almost any other at the moment in uh, commodity markets and in world markets in general, and particularly for the gold price. So yeah, one to watch.